These months of keeping a low profile have gotten to be almost too much to bear, as I'm sure it has been for many others. I mean, staying home all the time, because of state orders, is taking a toll on my mental and physical health. Even if I did decide to venture out and do what I consider to be the most meaningful activity, which is to enjoy my hobbies, there are other circumstances that prevent it. For example, how about the unbelievable crazy heat we've been having? All that oppressive heat makes it too dangerous to go outside. This is not only the, the hottest heat wave we've seen in a very long time, uh, it's the longest lasting. Tonight, the desperate battle to contain California's historic fires. And the unhealthy air quality because of the wildfires and smoke makes it hard to breathe. Add to that the freeway closures due to the LM protests and the destruction from the MT for rioting. Who in the hell wants to get caught up in that? And the biggest reason for this self-imposed house arrest, on top of everything else, is the fear of getting sick during the pandemic, and there's no end in sight. I often think of the possibilities and especially how the days were spent before the horrible year 2020 changed everything. I also think about my large collection of digital cameras. I have plenty of batteries and a few ideas for my next photo project. What I really need is a change of scenery and for things to get better. For now, though it's just a dream, I can only hope, right? Well, I've been hearing reports that a PG&E rolling blackout is possible. So I better turn in for the evening. What kind of a scene did I just step into? Is this just a wistful feeling or am I having a dream? It is beautiful here, but yet it seems surreal. It sure is nothing like the surroundings that I've been used to. Where's the smoke and haze that have been blocking the sun for the last week? This really is a sight for sore eyes. Huh? For real? Are you staring at me? What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a mermaid before? You know, I was looking for inspiration, but now that I'm in this wonderful place, I find myself without even one of my cameras. Well, if it's me you wanted to take pictures of, why don't you just have a good look? Try to remember later and paint a picture. I guess that will do, even though my drawing won't do justice to what I'm seeing now. So tell me, what do they call you? I thought my name was Benjamin, but now I'm told it's Ben too. Why don't you just call me Sugar Daddy? Seeing you sitting on that rock, my gosh. It makes me wish, why couldn't I have been 45 years younger? Well, I have to tell you Ben too. You are asleep and having a dream. Soon you'll be awake and facing the rest of 2020. This will be just a memory. Bye bye, Ben too.
Good morning, it's 4.40 p.m. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Is it really that late? I'm not feeling very hungry. Think I'll just have some of the fruit on the table. Oh no, I left the television on all night. It looks like they're covering the same story as yesterday. Fires are out of control with no containment in sight. The lockdown and stay-at-home orders have finally driven me insane. 2020 isn't the place I want to be anymore. Hey Randy, if you can hear me, I'm asking you to make me a promise. I need a break from this smoky, dangerous and unhealthy environment. Please take me out of the video and put me back into the Microsoft Agent Recycle bin, okay? I feel like I might be forgetting something. I have a feeling that I'm supposed to be painting a picture of someone. Why are my socks wet and my shoes full of sand? Now Benjamin, it's into the recycling bin you go. And it's been two. Haven't you ever seen a mermaid before?